so hi guys welcome to your pedia education so in this video today i'm going to discuss and break down one question asked in the drdo interview and see answer is not only the thing which matter as i have told you many time also so listen this question carefully when you are sitting for interview the very first thing is you must be able to break down the question into small small section so that you can understand it easily right this is the first start now what happen many time interviewer use some terms or some technical words in framing the question and we haven't listened such terms and we get confused because of those term and what happen those term are there just for the name purpose they don't have other meaning and because you haven't listened those term and you are not able to answer the question and even if you are able you already had made your mind by listening the question oh i haven't listened this term so it means i don't know the answer and you stop there if the same question is given to you people in the written exam then you will do answer definitely because while doing the solution of the written exam we apply whatever we know we don't hesitate but in the interview we have the hesitation that whatever we speaking whether it's true or wrong what the person will be getting from that you know will it be a good impression or bad impression so point is you need to be confident and you need to understand and you need to break down the question into small small section now this is one of the interview question asked typical discrete bjt listen the key term i have outlined typical discrete bjt have a large area this much area Where's modern IC have smaller area this much? Assume other parameter are identical, different. Determine difference between the base to ammeter voltage of two transistor for equal collector current. See, let us suppose he is not giving this condition. Assume other parameters are identical. For a moment, assume this one. So if he asks you the same question that what will be difference between the base ammeter voltage? Will it be equal or different? Then you know. if you know that it depend upon various other factor and about those factor he is not making any clear statement you ask him sir if you are asking me this answer then it depend upon a number of factor then do you want to make any commit or you do you want to make any statement regarding those factor how they are varying for these two both transistors so even if you ask this much na he will conclude that you know something about the process and he will uh, proceed ahead with the next question So, but in this question, he is providing the condition. Assume other parameters are identical. Determine the difference between base to ammeter voltage of the two transistor. The point is, if you believe that some question is being asked to you, but you have some doubt, better ask them. Don't keep that doubt up to yourself. You will be never able to answer by creating a doubt in your mind. The panel is supportive. They will assist you if you ask them some something else, right? so how to start very first discrete bjt have a large area see as the technology progresses you know nowadays we are having some electronics devices they are with a very small and minimum minimum size their thickness is very you know small so it is just because of the advancement of the technology so it's a journey which keep on progressing so if we talk about a discrete bjt obviously its physical size will be much more as compared to the integrated circuit bjt because the size of the component in integrated circuit is drastically reduced because of the technology and we are progressing towards the further reductions so that is the basically purpose of introducing these two point and yes if you have answered this entire question he can ask you later on that what do you mean by the discrete bjt and modern ic so that is what i told till now right now ultimately if you understand that this is a one kind of transistor this is a second kind of transistor forget everything then this is a simple question for you people so that is basically the art you need to follow while sitting in the interview you need to basically understand and break down the question now what is the problem we are having the true transistor first transistor second transistor is it clear one area is given second area is given condition is collector current is identical and all the other parameter are ident identical then we need to find what is the difference between the base to ammeter voltage of two transistor the while proceeding ahead the concept will be very basic you know the transistor collector current equation is as it is as that of the diode collector current you can say scaling current or saturation current base to ammeter voltage and thermal voltage so ultimately these are given that this is identical for both transistor 
and this I need to see this depend upon a number of factor it depend upon a base weight it depend upon the diffusion constant intrinsic carrier concentration it depend upon our area of cross section so this is basically the deciding factor that is why it is called a scaling factor if you reduce the area multiply divide the area scale the area this current is going to change now this is thermal voltage which is independent whether it's a modern whether it's a discrete right it will be identical so let us make this expression in term what is being asked to us based to a meter voltage is being asked to us now by using this data first i am writing this for the integrated ic obviously that is my second transistor and then i am writing it for the discrete that was my first transistor so obviously i will be using relation like this right now this is identical and these both are identical ic1 is equal to ic2 it's provided in the question right so now what are the different this one we need to calculate this difference and obviously these factor because area is different so scaling current will be different so if you differentiate and use the logarithmic property you will be ultimately getting guys this relation and examiner have provided or interview have provided the area of the second transistor and area of the first transistor vt you can use at a room temperature 26 millivolt so like this guys you can frame the answer it will come around something 383 millivolt so this much about of the difference you will be finding there under such condition if you are provided with one discrete vjt and one with the modern ic so see if you see the solution you will get to know sir solution is quite simple sir we have done many kind of numerical like this yes i have told you people earlier but the point is when the same question is asked in the interview and he used some word like this discrete bjt modern ic the student get confused that what is the meaning of this is this going to create any you know problem see if i'm writing ic is equal to is e raised to power vbe upon vt the only information which is needed that is about the factor on which this depend what is the comment about those factor and what is about this this is identical is depend upon various factor and he had clearly made assume that other parameters are identical apart from area all the other parameter he is keeping fixed it means he is saying that this is is directly proportional to area only this factor you need to consider other factor you can assume as identical so this much interpretation you need to do while the interview is asking you this question rest is very simple answer right so guys ultimately my suggestion for you all is don't think that they are going to ask you something extraordinary they are going to ask you the same question the point is are you able to understand or process that information whatever they are asking you so by keeping these guidelines in mind i suggest you people to prepare for your coming interview right thank you Thank <laughs> you.